Hey, what's up guys? It's Darkroom Duels, and today we're going to be doing an Ojama deck profile. So this deck is really fun to play around with because it just got Ojama pink, and it's just an overall really fun deck to play. It's really interesting, all the different kind of plays it can actually make, and it can actually lock your opponent down where they can't even play a card, which is really amazing, and a really interesting concept in the way it plays with the effects of cards that make it so your opponent cannot use monster zones on their side of the field, which is an awesome effect for this deck. So, without further ado guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the on there seeing comment bar notification squad and definitely check out the patreon down in the description below we have all sorts of awesome words you guys like getting your name description every single video getting a side card to the mail or even getting to request a deck profile every single month your patron along with test hand so without further ado let's get straight on into this so first off we're going to be playing double ojama yellow ojama yellow is really good in this deck ojama yellow has the ability that basically does nothing uh <laughs> it's the main card of the deck you need to play three two copies of ojama yellow because it's searchable and it also has the ability that you can use it as a fusion material to summon out your copy of ojama king which is basically your big boss monster of the entire deck and you play two copies of ojama green which basically does the exact same thing and two copies of ojama black so all of these you have to play at two each of usually in the deck um i do not recommend three because you will brick uh two each is usually my like golden rule when i play this deck it seems to work the best and basically they're searchable off your copy of oja magic which is why you play them as three ofs or two ofs in the deck and they're really really good in the deck overall we then play two copies of ojama blue ojama blue has the ability that when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard you get to add any two ojama cards from your deck to your hand which is a really good effect just to be able to grab any two ojama cards that you particularly need directly from your deck and grab them put them in your hand we play three copies of ojama red now now this card is where it gets insane so what this card does is when this card is normal summoned you can special summon up to four ojama monsters from your hand in face up attack position if you normal summon this card out you're going to easily go into something like a sword you just skull dread or any any of your link monsters that you particularly need this card is really really good and you really need to play this card as a three of we then play three copies of the new let me move these over really quick you play three copies of the new ojama pink which i think is quickly becoming my favorite artwork of them all and my favorite ojama monster so definitely comment down below which one's your favorite incoming ojama lime i just see that coming but with this card Card does is if this card is sent from the hand or field to the graveyard then you can instantly activate the effect to each player draws a card and then each player discards a card then if this card a card which is an ojama card you can choose one card that's unused or one unused monster zone on your opponent's side of the field and it cannot be used until the end of your opponent's next turn which is a pretty good effect just to be able to lock your opponent down if you use this card and you get out a copy of ojama king as well you're essentially going to lock down four of your opponents like four four of your opponent's zones which is really amazing uh to be able to lock down all those different zones your opponent is not going to be able to use we then play three copies of um rescue cat rescue cat is ridiculously good in this deck because you can send this card from your side of the field to the graveyard and then special summon up to two level three or lower beast monsters from your deck so it instantly makes a rank two play with your ojama cards and it can also help you with a link play as well which is super good as well uh just to be able to summon them to your side of the field and then i play a single copy of arm dragon level three our dragon level three is really good in the deck too because basically what it does is is with oja match you're going to be able to normal summon an additional time so you have to search this card in order to resolve it it's the only break of the deck but you need to play it as a one of in this particular build so that's it for the monsters guys let's get into the spells so for the spells we're going to be playing a single copy of instant fusion because instant fusion helps us get out our copy of ojama knight to our side of the field which is really good to help us get monsters out we play a single copy of ultra polymerization ultra polymerization is kind of neat because you pol you pay 2000 to fusion summon one monster from your extra deck using two monsters you control as materials and neither player can activate any cards in response to activate this card and then you banish this card from your graveyard to target one fusion monster or uh yeah one fusion monster on your uh those fusion summoned by this card's effect and special summon the monster that were used to fusion summon that card to your side of the field with zero defense and their effects are negated but if you use ojama monsters there they don't have any effects anyways so it doesn't matter and they already have zero attack so they only lose their defense what's the big deal but basically this card is really good at summoning your copy of ojama knight and if you already have two copies of an ojama monster on your side of the field like an ojama green and an ojama yellow and you have ojama black still in your hand then you can use something like the next card which is three copies or two copies of greater polymerization to be able to go directly in in 
for your copy of Ojama King. So you can basically, if you draw into your three Ojama monsters and then you, or an o, um, Oja Magic send it to grave and then you have a way to get two of your Ojamas onto your side of the field, you can use Ultra Polymerization and be able to go Ultra Polymerization, Fusion Summon into Ojama Knight, and then use Greater Polymerization to go into your copy of Ojama uh, King and then you summon both of them to your side of the field. They can't be, basically your opponent's not going to be able to summon any monsters except for the extra monster zone. So this is really cool to be able to just use these uh, to be able to just get into your copies of your Ojama plays. And also Greater Polymerization lets you fusion summon one monster from your extract using three or more monsters uh, three or more monsters from your hand or field as a material. And if you do, it gains the effect of this card cannot be destroyed by card effects and it inflicts piercing damage if it attacks, which Ojama King does have zero attack. But if you do go into your copy of Ojama Emperor, it flips the attack and events. So it makes it basically where they have 3,000 attacks. So it makes a 3,000 attack point uh, monster to be able to just go into crazy plays. Might be Ojama Country that does that. I can't remember. Those two kind of effects mix up. Uh, so then we play three copies of Polymerization as well. As you can see, you're basically focusing on fusion summoning into your Ojama King and being able to lock your opponent down. Really quickly in this deck is the main focus. I play a single copy of Terraforming because it's going to get me into a lot of different field spells that I play in this deck. We play a single copy of Fusion Recycling Plant. Recycling plant is really good because it's going to help you get into your different uh, fusion plays a little bit faster which is super nice just to be able to grab a copy of polymerization just for discarding a card to add a polymerization from your deck to your hand and then once per turn during the end phase you can disc you can target one monster in your graveyard that was used as a fusion material and add it back to your hand which is super nice to be able to use it with we then play three copies of Ojama Country. So Ojama Country is once per turn, you can send an Ojama card from your hand to the graveyard, special summon one Ojama monster from your graveyard. And then while you control the face of Ojama monster, you switch the original attack and defense of that monster, which was the effect I was talking about that I said was Emperor's effect. It's actually Ojama Country's effect. We then play uh, three copies of Oja Magic. Oja Magic is the most insane card in the entire deck because it has the ability to this card is sent from your hand or field to the grave. You get to add one each of Ojama green, yellow, and black from your deck to your hand, which is a really, really good effect just to be able to get its effect off to add all three of them from your deck to your hand. And it's essentially a plus two and you can pay like cost with it and then it goes off, which is kind of neat because it says if it's sent from your hand to the graveyard. We then play uh, three copies of Oja Match. Oja Match is ridiculously good because you can send any Ojama card from your hand or face up from your field to the graveyard to add to your hand one Ojama monster with a different name and one armed dragon monster from your deck to your hand or graveyard and then immediately this card resolves. You can normal summon one of those monsters and then during your main phase you manage this card from your graveyard to target three of your banished Ojama monsters and shuffle them into the deck and then you get to draw a card which is pretty good too. We then play three copies of Ground Collapse. Ground Collapse essentially is with your copy of Ojama King and this it is going to completely lock your opponent down. It's a very old card and basically what it does is, is when you activate it you get to target two zones that your opponent is not currently using and then it makes it so your opponent cannot use those monster zones to summon monsters which is really kind of awesome because when you have when you combo it with ojama king uh two plus three is five so they can't use any other zones except for the extra monster zone and they have to have a monster on the field to go into the extra monster zone to begin with so they can't really do anything which is really interesting for the entire deck so that's it for the spells, guys. Let's get into the traps. So for the traps, we're going to be playing one trap, and that is a single copy of Ojama Pajama. Uh, you, you pretty much play it just for the name uh, because it's hilarious. And what it does is if this card, if you an armed dragon monster or a light machine fusion monster you control would be destroyed battle by card effects, you manage an Ojama card from your hand or face in your field instead. It also has the ability that during the main phase, you can add Ojama card from your deck to your hand, and then you discard a card, which can single-handedly be your copy of Oja Magic that goes off and then also if this card is sent to the graveyard you can special summon as many of your banished ojama monsters as possible which is pretty good so that's it for the uh main deck guys let's get into the extra deck so for the extra deck we're playing double ojama king ojama king is really good because it can make it so your opponent cannot use three of their monster zones which is really insane it does take a copy of green yellow and black to fusion summon into this card i really wish that they would eventually give us a retrain of this card but hey whatever uh, we do play two copies of Ojama Knight, which locks down two of your opponent's zones, which is still pretty good. It's a little bit easier to summon to your side of the field because it just requires, um, it just requires two, um, 
It just requires two uh, Ojama monsters. Any two Ojama monsters can make this card, which is really, really good. We then play a single copy of Ojama Emperor. Ojama Emperor is really good in the deck, too. I just play it. I just feel like I need it as a one-of in the deck. But what it does is when Ojama Country is on the field, this card gains 3,000 attack. And it can't be destroyed by card effects, and your opponent takes um, takes any uh, battle damage you would have taken from attacks that uh, on this card. And then instead, uh, and then you can target one non-link Ojama monster in your graveyard and special summon it and also for the rest of the turn you cannot special on monster in the extra except for fusion monsters which is pretty good i really like it as a one up in here i don't feel like i needed it any more than one unless i was playing an extravagance build which you can play extravagance in the deck but i just feel like you need this as a one of we then play a single copy of sore yuja because it helps us draw deeply into the deck uh, with its four effect and special summon a monster to our side of the field one copy of access code talker because it pops cards one copy of unicorn because it spins stuff a single copy of phoenix because it pops spells or traps IP Mascarena because Mascarena is just really, really, really good in this deck to be able to go into your copy of Unicorn or Access Code Talker. One copy of Alamirage. Just to round out the uh, Link monsters, Alamirage is really good in the deck too because Alamirage has an insane uh, synergy with the deck to be able to use with any of your Ojamas that are normal summon. You can then just link them away and summon out your copy of Alamirage. I play a, sim a single copy of number 64, Ronin Raccoon uh, Sendayo. Uh, what this card does is basically it generates a token that becomes the highest attack point monster on the field. It matches the highest attack point monster on the field. And it's a good target for Double A Zeus. There's a single copy of Sky Cavalry because it can just about anything because it can't be destroyed by battle while it has an XZ material and at the end of the damage step this card would destroy it would um if this card battle an opponent's monster you can detach a material from it and return that opponent's monster from the field to the hand so this card is a single card dragoons out which is really cool uh a single copy of downward magician because you can overlay a copy of the sky cavalry or the ronin raccoon with your copy of downward magician which is super nice just to be able to go into this card um to be able to go into double a zeus because technically one of your monsters did battle it gives your double a zeus additional materials which is super nice so you have a lot of different plays with that double a zeus still you can resolve their effects and then overlay with downer magician and you have essentially more materials to go off with double a zeus's ability so that's it for the deck guys i hope you did enjoy it it's a really cool deck to play with i really hope you guys do try this deck out because it is absolutely bonkers and hilarious especially when you establish a board that's like this if you just establish like an ojama king and you have something like a copy of i don't know ground collapse against your opponent you lock down five zones and this is a really easy board to actually establish because all you have to do is send ojama magic or ojama uh oja magic from your deck to the graveyard or from your hand to the graveyard and then once you send it from your hand to the graveyard you're going to get to search all three of your ojamas and then all it is from there is having one fusion spell that's it um, to be able to fusion summon into your copy of your Ojama King. So you have a lot of different plays in this deck that you can go for. And it's just a really fun deck overall. So anyways, guys, this is Dark Arm Duelist. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Definitely tell me what you think of this deck down in the comments down below. Because it is a very fun deck to play with. And it's fairly budget too. It's not super expensive to play Ojamas anymore. Because they've reprinted a lot of the cards. So anyways, guys, this is Dark Arm Duelist. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell on the screen, comment, bar, notification squad. And definitely check out the Patreon in the description below. And we'll see you guys guys in the next video see you later guys